Hello everybody and welcome to another of my Pong tutorial video. So in today's video, I'm actually gonna teach you how to make the title screen, the points, and a time actually a timer, and we're gonna have a pause button to pause the game in the middle. Okay. So first off, we're gonna be making the title screen. So to do that, first, create a new sprite, then um, choose any color you want, I'm going to choose uh, orange, and click on the bucket, and fill the whole thing with orange. Then, next, go to the text button, and choose the color, and type pong wait I gotta choose it to black first okay yeah okay make this bigger okay we actually I'm gonna name it ping pong game ping pong game there make it stand out make it bigger put it on the in the middle okay let's put it right in the middle, okay right there I guess wait no never mind okay so anyways go to the text again choose a different color and at the bottom, type in press space to start. There. That should be good. Okay, so. Now drag this to the center, or just go to motion, so go to X, 0, Y, 0, click on it, and go to the center. There. Now that we got this, we need to make it so that when they press the space button, the game will start. So, go to control go if sensing key space is pressed broadcast a new message saying start game okay so then now Change all the when flag is clicked. To when I receive start game. Okay. There. Oh, this one too. So now after that, go to paddle one and change this to when I receive start game. 
change this to when I receive start game 2. Okay. And I guess for these three, do when flag is click, hide, then when I receive start game, then chill. Okay, so I think we need this code for every single one of the sprites. So let's do that right now. Okay. Yeah, and there. Now let's try this game again. So when you first go in, you'll see the title screen. You press space. Oh yeah, I forgot. So, go to the title screen again. Okay, let's just name it title screen. My computer is kind of slow. Title screen. Then do. Go to events. When I receive. Start game. Then it will. Hide. There. Now click on the green flag again. And click space. Wait what? Oh, okay. So over here you need to put a forever block on if key space is pressed, then broadcast start game. So go over here. Wait. It should hide though, right? Still shows. Okay, wait a second. Oh, because I wrote when I received start game show. We actually don't need this in this group. So then let's try this again. I'm going to pre press space. And yeah, now it works. Let's try it again. Yep. Okay. And that's good. Okay. So now we have to work on counting the score. So basically, go to data. Wait, actually, go to Paddle, go to Data, and make a variable. And for this one, do score. No, let's do red points. Red score, actually. Okay, and for paddle 2, actually we're going to put this over here, and click on the right side of your mouse on this, and do, and click on large readout, and there. Now it will only show the variable number. So now, actually, we're going to go to paddle 2 and make a variable called green score there click ok click on the right side of your mouse then click 
large VL. There. Okay. Now that's good. We're going to change the script again so when the ball hits either of the sides, it won't say the other team wins. It'll, s it'll just add up a point. Yeah. Okay. So to do that, first. Go to the ping pong sprite. Then do if then you see here for this one instead of if touching red broadcast green wins. Just okay. Take this broadcast out and put change green score by one. There. Okay. Now go to motion and br and drag the go to xy block down here and change x to 0 and y to 0 okay there now for the touching green side we're also going to do that too so change red score one and go to motion go to X zero Y zero okay there now when it hits either of the sides okay yeah, the other team will just gain one point. See there. Now red has seven points. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, and if it hits the other side. Okay, wait. I'm going to try to make it hit. Yeah, and it works. There, okay. So now that that works we have to make a timer so that when the time is over whoever have the most point wins the game okay so to do that go to stage click on data and make a variable name it time and click ok put time in the middle right there and change it to a large readout. There, now that we have that, go to events and do when I receive start game, go to data, set time to 60, and forever wait one second change time by minus one and we're gonna put an if block that if time is smaller than one then it will broadcast no actually then it will check if green wait actually if red score is bigger than green score okay then broadcast go to events broadcast red wins and if let's just change this around green score is bigger than red score broadcast green wins so actually there might be a tie so, 
We're going to drag another if block and say if. We're going to take this out. If. Green score. Is. Equal to. Red score. Then broadcast. A new message saying. Tie. Game. Okay. There. Now go to the game over thing, yeah, and paint a new costume. For this costume, we're going to choose black color, and we're going to type game over, no, actually, tie game. There and make this bigger. Uh, there. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so after we got this, we have to add another block. So when I receive tie game. Switch costume to costume 3, show, then, stop all. Okay. <clears throat> so now that we got that, let's try it out. Okay. Press space to start. Then the timer will start counting down. And just wait. And one second left. Yes. And it worked. It said green wins the game. But then when I was playing the game, I found out a problem. When the game started, the points didn't start at zero. So now we gotta change this so that when I receive start game, go to data and do set time, no, set red score to zero and set green score to zero. Okay, now let's try this again. And yeah, it works. Okay, so... When I was playing this game, I found out that... When you're playing the game, this might happen. Um, so like this. When you're playing the game, this actually might happen when you hit the ball. So if that happens, all you gotta do is for watching this okay so thank you for watching my tutorial and remember to like and subscribe to my channel also I'm making another video next time on this pong game and that tutorial will teach you how to make like power-ups for example two balls at the same time or the ball will speed up or something like that. Okay, so see you next time. Bye!